Cool. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, and welcome back to One of Dust Settles. My name is Pico Conway, and I'm going to talk to you today about Manchester United game with Liverpool. Before this game, most pronosticators of um, uh, TV, sport commentators, and everybody was saying Manchester United going to lose. They are, they, they are not going to come out of Anfield with three. Either they're going to be they're going to be beat by three goals to nothing. If they can get anything out of the game, the best they'll get is coming out of that place, out of that place with either two goals to zero. But I think all the pronosticators forget to know that they're talking about Manchester United. The game at Anfield, most people think that Manchester United was going again, you know, and uh, it was a, it was a foregone conclusion. And they were basing that, they were basing the prediction based on the fact that Manchester United uh, lost to Liverpool seven goals to zero, I think nine months ago. And the recent results, they didn't go Manchester United away. Manchester United lost to Bayern Munich 1-0 in the Champions League. Manchester United is out of the Champions League because of that. Manchester United also lost to Bob Month 3-0 at Old Trafford. So all of these things, people think that, People thought that Manchester United cannot get a result out, you know, from uh, Anfield. But I, I know the players, as Onana said, Onana says a work in progress. I know the players knew that. They know that the players, the guys that are playing know that they, they want to turn the corner. The game with, 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 with Bayern Munich was a wake-up call. Manchester United said, look, we are a big team. We are one of the biggest football clubs on planet Earth. Or biggest soccer, as the way we call it in the United States. So we can't go in games and just go there to, to play to, for a draw. Or they just go play and just you know, get beat like that. So I think the players recognize that Manchester United today went in that game. As people, contrary to what people are saying, Manchester United went into this game to win. And when you saw the way that Manchester United play, you can you can conclude and you can agree with me that Manchester United really went to win. The game was as such that everybody was, you know, I must say I was, you know, I was biting my nails. Especially say when the at the start start of the second half. But later on, I see that Manchester United settled down and they began to pass the ball around and they began to, you know, disrupt uh, Liverpool rhythm throughout the entire game. So it was not anything that Manchester United went into the game being intimidated by Liverpool. Manchester United was never intimidated by Liverpool. As I said before, I said, everything Tim Hodge and his, his coaching staff, all they need to do is to look at the tape between the end. The game between Manchester United and Bayern Munich. The tape, because that game was an equal game. And anybody can say anything that Manchester United didn't have shots and goal. They had one shot, but the game was an equal game. The only thing, the only disadvantage I see in that game, Manchester United didn't put up enough fighting spirit in that game. You know, they didn't have enough fighting spirit. But into this game, Manchester United went into that game, to, into today's game to win. Yes, they only had one chance on goal. But Liverpool, equally so, Liverpool they didn't have a lot of scoring opportunities in the game. Onana. Dalo, Shaw, Varan, Anthony, Ganacho, Mendu, all these guys play as a unit. Amran, Hulan, all of them play as a unit. They play as a team. Then you brought in Michael Rashfield, you brought in Hannibal, you brought in other guys. So all of them play as a unit, they play as a team. Then you get um you get uh, Onana in the back, who most of Manchester United's play today. Playing from the back was played, they played through Onana. And Onana did a very good job today in reading the play. Onana played from the back, when, but when he, when he saw an opportunity to kick the ball down feet, Onana did kick the ball down feet. So, Manchester United have worked on most of the, the issues, the problems they have. One of the problems they have, one of the problems they have was they have two, they have a big gap between the, the attackers and the defenders. I think um, former, former Liverpool, Liverpool coach, not Liverpool, but 
ask no coach. Uh, Anson Winger said, he said, the, the gap between Manchester attackers and the defenders is so, so wide. So as a result, Manchester, you know, lost the ball, you know, it's, it takes them very, and they are very difficult for them to work, for them to work, close the gaps. But when you look at today again, they attack as a unit, they defend it as a unit. So that was very, very, that was a very good game, Manchester United. So everybody is celebrating. We should all celebrate because, <laughs> when I said it, so when, the, when the team is doing bad, right, everybody criticizes. And the, it's good to criticize them because if we don't criticize them, they don't know, we don't criticize them, they don't know what their shortcomings are and what to work on. We don't say we gotta work on our shortcoming and we gotta work on our mistakes as a unit, as a team. And now what we're doing. I think the last time I said, I don't think Onana was the goalkeeper for Manchester United. But since then, I backtracked and I retracted that statement. And I began to recognize that we have to give not just Onana, not just Lou Shaw and other players the opportunity to turn things around, but the entire team, the coaching staff, people are calling for everything has to, to, to go. I'm saying that everything has should stay because Manchester United in the last 10 years we have over eight different coaches. Michael Carriage, we have Michael Carriage, we have um Marino, we have David Moore, we have uh how to go in uh Van Gaal and and, and 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 you name the you, you name the other coaches we have all in Goli Social all the guys we have so are we saying that we should be changing coaches Every day, I'm saying every day because you know, no, we gotta try to keep the, the people we have and uh, improve the, on the mistakes we have. There are three things I think that there are two things we gotta work on. We gotta try to we gotta we gotta try to create more scoring opportunities. Equally, so we gotta train our wingers, especially so Anthony and Ganacho. The two guys, yes, they they, they always run with the ball downfield. And they want to run, they run with the ball downfield. As, as soon as they lost the ball, and uh, they always run themselves. Let me say, they always run themselves into trouble. The coaching staff had to teach the two players, and even not just the two of them, but Michael Rashford, so that they can make, so that they can possess the ball, hold the ball, draw the ball one or two in, in, in touches before pass. Because if you if you if you hold the ball and you you know, get two, three uh, touches on the ball. You create spaces because you draw the defenders. To, uh, you draw the uh, uh, that's the defending players to you, and then you, you create spaces for the uh, for your players to, uh, to, 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 to 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 go into the the opening that have been created because you you know you drew um, one or two players to yourself. So they gotta teach Ganacho and Anthony to try to possess the ball more and teach them to pass the ball more accurately. I think some of the passes, some of the passes were very bad in the in, in the game. So they got to teach the players, and not just the two players, but the two players, they got to work on it because they are very good players. They are good attacking players. They bring a lot of energy, you know, to the striking force of Manchester United. And when those players can work on those little, little uh, problems that they have, Manchester United can make um, a big impact. We just we just about eighteen games. Yeah, seventeen games into the uh, thirty eight or uh, thirty six, thirty eight games uh, season. So we still have a lot of football left to play. Manchester United is just ten points behind uh, Arsenal, who's who at the top of the table right now. So you know people should not write Manchester United up out. Manchester City just drew two two. They drop points. Liverpool drop point today, and uh, then uh, they, 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 they still they, they, the the table is still closed at the top. So Manchester United is is really turning the corner. They are playing a very good football. You know, Scott McTominay today, they all play well. Scott McTominay was captain of Manchester United. You know, Ganacho, Anthony, you know, Mendu. Dalo, Dalo was wrecked out today because of you know protesting against I said vehemently or violently protesting against the ref for you know calling for a throw into Liverpool. 
And the people are saying that uh, Nunes had the same uh, reaction when uh, when uh, you know he brought down uh, Evans, you know, and he was uh, <clears throat> so people say there was the same reaction. Other people saying that you know because but the thing that is what I see is uh, Dalo had a yellow card already. So you know when he protested against what the ref, he had another yellow card. I think. He had another yellow card, so since he had two yellow cards in the same game, for those of you not know soccer, if you have two yellow cards in the same game, you know, it, uh, it leads to a red card. So the half, that's how Dallo was uh, kicked out of the game, but it was, um, it was already at the end of the game anyway. If that red card come maybe 10 minutes to the end of the game, Manchester United would have been in big, big trouble. And I don't think people are saying that that was a foul for uh, Lou Shaw. It's supposed to be a penalty for Liverpool. Hey, when you look at the play too, the play the play with Ganacho and Ganacho uh, uh, almost scored that goal. Uh, Liverpool defender um, <clears throat> touched Ganacho. That's how Ganacho didn't you know take the shot that he's supposed to take. And I think when, when Ganacho had taken that shot, Manchester United would have scored in that game. So folks, that way you have it. Manchester United play a very good game. I see my brothers and sisters on, on the continent of Africa then saying happy because. Not because of a draw. Don't get it wrong. Not because of a draw. It's because Manchester United is turning the corner. Manchester United is coming to what Manchester United used to be before. The team that we knew. The Manchester United, the Manchester United that we know. That's where Manchester United is going right now. If Manchester United can play, play compact all throughout any, every game they play, <clears throat> I don't see any team that can be there. And I think they are making... They are making improvement in the game. And uh, if they continue down that road, Manchester United will be uh, containing or uh, in contention for the, the, the Premier League title. Folks, my name is Pico Conway. You're watching with the Dust Settles on YouTube. The Dust Settles is a community based YouTube channel. will come to you every Thursday and every Friday. Folks, um, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And uh, uh, let me know if uh, all you have uh, anything, uh, comment below. My name is Pico Conway and you are watching When the Dust Settle on YouTube. Don't also, don't forget to watch, don't forget to uh, visit our, uh, our, don't forget to visit our website. Have a great day, folks, and I will talk to you when I talk to you. Have a great day, stay safe. Bye for now.